Aberdeen Football Club invited us to Pitodri Stadium to check out some match day hospitality and here's how we got on. Arrived at the stadium at about 12 p.m. and had a quick look at the map. And because we had a bit of time to kill, we decided to have a look around the outside of the stadium. A big fan of old school stadiums, as you guys probably already know, and Pitodri is definitely one of those. Continued our wander around into the club shop to have a look at the merchandise on offer. For reference, the club shop is located right next to the ticket office, but if you are in hospitality, you'll pick up your tickets from another place. A bit more on that later on. And you will find a few references to the club's European success. Back outside and we made our way towards the Richard Donald stand and had a look at the Fergie statue. If you didn't already know, Sir Alex Ferguson managed Aberdeen before he went on to manage Scotland and Man United. We then went on to the hospitality reception to pick up our hospitality tickets. A really friendly welcome from staff who hand over your tickets, which are inside this envelope. Then before you make your way upstairs, you scan your e-tickets using this machine. You can then take the lift. We decided to take the stairs up to the Richard Donald Stand Lounge. And on the way up the stairs, there is a timeline of the club's history. As you make your way into the lounge, otherwise known as the RDS Lounge, you do receive a program on entry. You are allowed inside the lounge two and a half hours before kickoff, and you will find that it fills up quite quickly. A large open lounge with a number of private and shared tables with a smart casual dress code. Couldn't find our table to start with, but staff are very friendly and pointed us in the right direction. Took our seats, and when in Scotland, there's an obvious drinks choice. Earlier on in the afternoon, there is a presentation for club and match day sponsors. Next, onto the food, and there is table service for the three course meal. We went for soup, and then for the main course, it was pork loin and mealy pudding, which was really good. Something else that was really good was the desserts. About an hour before kickoff, you do receive a team sheet, which is delivered to your table, and you can grab a hot drink. At half time, make sure you're still hungry because every guest does receive a pie, and these guys were top draw. Last orders from the Unlimited Open Bar at full time, and there is a heads or tails competition. Make sure you keep hold of your program as you can get it signed by a club legend, and if you're lucky, you can get a photo with the man of the match. Back to before the match, and there is a short walk from the lounge into the Richard Donald stand. A good idea to make your way out 10 minutes before kickoff to avoid the rush and in order to find your seats. And speaking of seats, there is a short walk up a few sets of steps and off to your allocated padded seat for the start of the match. Before the match versus Hearts, there was a pre-match flag show and even the club mascot got involved. Tickets for the Richard Donald Stand Lounge are from £145 plus VAT. A really good value package and a big thank you to the hospitality staff on the day who were brilliant. Normally, we end the videos by asking where should we go for the next padded seat, but on this occasion, it's a little bit different. The hotel that we were staying at in Aberdeen picked us up from outside the stadium after the match, then dropped us back to this very special room inside the Merry Culter House. Now it's worth saying this isn't included in the hospitality package, but if you are staying in Aberdeen, we would definitely recommend staying in Merry Coulter House. Over 800 years old and some pretty stunning views from the bedroom windows. Not a bad view to wake up to.